right, coming up next is a featherweight matchup between Brian T-City Ortega and Alexander Volkanovsky. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Volkanovski gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. He's hurt. Oh, big left hand there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. tie now. Beautiful body kick. That's a big strike right there. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Just over 20 total strikes. And counting has now landed for Brian T. City Ortega. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Great punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Volkanovski. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Whiffs on the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight for both. Check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. While well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and is able to. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. So 52 total strikes have landed for Brian Ortega. And in terms of the accuracy, they're landing at a 53% clip tonight against Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, just misses with the kick. 
Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Great punch landed with so much power. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 16 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ryan T.C.T. Ortega! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.